My full names are Professor Alex Roya Muliokela. I was born in Namatanda village, village headman Mumbola, chief Manamare, district Senanga. I originate from Neta Ambum, Princess Neta Bumsa, the, whose mother, whose biological mother, the second queen of Barozalan. I did my primary, my lower primary school at Mumbola Primary School, and my upper at uh, Manamare Primary and Nawinda Primary School. My secondary education was at Seshek Secondary School, but I did not finally finish my work because of illness. And uh, I came to Lusaka and uh, did GCE through Wenzhou Hall and uh, Transworld Education College. And thereafter, I did my first diploma, Storekeeper and Stores Management with Transworld Education College. I was uh, recommended to do principles and practice of management and later business management, administration and the trading. And then uh, sales and marketing management. I also did principles and practice of teaching. And then uh, I did higher examination English and uh, economics and the comments. All these are diplomas. I finally did journalism and professional writing, which helped me to write books. I'm right, currently writing five books. On the political side, I started as the branch secretary within Kabu and the David Ramshaw Ward. And then I moved to, from branch to ward as in the same capacity as secretary. And then I was taken to district level as secretary again in the same capacity, reporting to the district political secretary. There, after I was trained at Kwame Krumah Teacher Training College, in uh, political administration and science. Then I was also taken to President's Citizenship College uh, within Kawe again. Then in 1991, UNIP were taken over by MMD. And then uh, I did not join any party. I just continued my job as a literature evangelist. And then I got a job as a general manager, a general manager within TL Engineering. But then I came back to politics again. And then in 1996, I formed my political party, namely United Poor People of Zambia's Freedom Party. And then the year 2000, through uh, the power of God, then there was a train of trainers in political party leadership, conducted by Eastern and Southern Universities Research Program. And then again, I was trained as a train of trainers in uh, conflict management, which was sponsored by European Union and uh, in conjunction with the, the ECZ. And the reason I formed in my party was because of uh, the known problem within the country Zambia. Because three quarters of the people, they live in absolute poverty. As we are speaking now, more than 8 million, according to Central Statistics Office, are living in absolute poverty. And th that's the reason why I had to come in politics, to ensure that I remove poverty. My main focus is to remove poverty, so that the poor people should come out of poverty. And then how do I achieve that? What I have to do is to ensure that all those who are not working, according to Article Number 25 of the General Assembly, will be uh, receiving one million per month in my government. And then the disabled people, such as the aged, and those who blind people, and all other disabled people, will be getting uh, five million from the start, so that they are able to employ someone to care for them. Until we, sh we I will finally construct home centers in each and every district to take care for them. And then from there, Article number 26 of the General Assembly also says that all people should go to school free, free, free of charge. There's supposed to be no payment. That's how, what Article of the General Assembly says. For that reason, I want everybody to go to school free of charge up to university stage. They cheat them by saying bursaries. What is a bursary? A bursary is a loan given to somebody. Then he, when he finishes educa education, they will start deducting from his salary or her salary which is not good. Who is now taking that money? 
and for which purpose? That's hundred percent wrong. So I want that sector to be free up to university. And I want also to ensure that those babies, each and every person, will be paid. Not only a man or a woman within the family, including the babies. Because Article number 25 also includes babies, either born in or out of wedlock. For this reason, I cannot uh, uh, accept, and I'm now saying this, because the issue that in conjunction with the government, they know I'm the only person who, who, who is caring for the people within this country. By so doing, they usually do whatever possible to stop me from filing nomination. I formed my party in 1996. 2001 there was election, they turned me down. 2006 there was election, they turned me down. 2008 they turned me down. 2011 they also did the same. 2015 they have also done, which they think is the same. I'm not accepting. Right now, no more. I have already written to the ECZ. They know my stand. I told them I'm not accepting their, uh, their corrupt result. Those are totally corrupt because right now, I told them I'm winning by 80%. I wrote to the uh, United Nations Secretary General. I told them that I'm winning by 80%. And the same has come forth. The last election proved that the 12, 11 candidates who were favored, uh, they, only, uh, they only shared 1 million. Uh, 700, 1.7 million out of 5 million 160 something registered voters in the country. Showing that more than 3 million, 3.4 or 5 million have totally refused. They have given a vote of no confidence because of me. Three quarters they, they went there, they wrote to my papers, they have put, piled those papers, even for the president. Even other observers, they confirmed it to me I'm the only victorious, the one who won this election. But they're standing on me because I'm a poor man. So I'm not going to accept. I know they have already uh, given the president of, of their own choice. But that is nothing because I'm the president of the poor people, of the majority of this country. And the article number 21 of the General Assembly indeed uh, supports me because no one has got the power to stop anyone apart from the people themselves. The people have spoken. If the President Rungu want to prove, we can go for a rerun. We can go for a rerun. As for now, onward, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm the President of Zambia. Thank you so much. As I have already said, the 2015 election, my people have given a vote of no confidence. And I'm totally the, the fair de, here in the president of Zambia, as I've already said. 2016 is also going to be uh, elections. I'll also continue our stand. And I have to continue with my people for the next 10 years. I'll stand for the next 10 years for my people. Because the 10 years is the tenure of office according to the Zambian constitution and the world in particular. So for, to afford democracy. And I'm sure my people will continue voting for me whenever this election, which will come. Because I'm not going to accept or give up, never. I will no longer accept. Because if I do that, I've got a case in the eyes of God who appointed me to do the work. I have to save my poor people. I'm prepared to die for them, if possible. If it means dying, let them come and kill. I'm very much ready. But God, who appointed me, will stand because the Bible says if you think you, have, you can remove the boundary of a poor man God himself will stand for him for the so-called poor man and I'm sure God will do that he will stand for me I'm Professor Alex Loyam Leokila President of the poor people in Zambia I may simply say President of Zambia right now <laughs>